We're here at the Herbert Art Gallery Museum in Coventry for the launch of Midland Art Papers 3, which is a special issue on inclusion, disability and access in the arts. Midland Art Papers is an online journal that publishes collections-based research around the collections of our collaboration of 13 public and museum galleries right across the Midlands. And we work to champion and develop and protect our region's cultural and artistic heritage. Today for our event we've got the contributors to Midland Art Papers 3, so the academics and museum and gallery professionals who work to do this amazing research into our public collections and this theme of inclusion, disability and access. We also have a few amazing speakers, artists who are working within the Midlands on projects today that look at inclusion, that look at disability, that look at access and explore these and try to introduce these complex topics to their audiences. We're constantly looking at new ways to broaden our audience and to make our uh, gallery and everything that we do much uh, have much broader appeal. You know, the, I mean, these days we talk a lot about kind of dominant narratives and who's getting to create those narratives, and that's why diversity is is important. And it really is important. You know, we need to hear these other voices, um, and then at the same time, we need to not kind of um, go so far out the other side that we're kind of trapped in a really granular world of identity obsession where, where you know nothing is relevant unless you have lived experience. Recently I did a joint article with Sophie Hatchwell where we took three works of art from our collection at the Herbert and we engaged in a conversation as to how she might interpret and how I might interpret for my young audience. Definitely gave me a different perspective yeah because Sophie because of her uh, expertise um, and her kind of academic way of looking at paintings and objects um, gave me new information and new ideas that I could feed into my sessions for young people. There was a, a piece written about uh, an artwork in our collection by Alfred Wallace. It gave us an opportunity to have sort of research into that which we, we don't just don't have time to do at the art gallery actually. I mean that's I think that's the beauty of it by bringing in academics from the University of Birmingham. It's, it's a chance to really dig deep and sort of find out a lot more about our collection. It's given a, uh, an opportunity for, for people from different organisations, museums, academics to group together, to meet together, to discuss ideas. Uh, and from that point of view, it's been, a, it's been a really worthwhile experience. For those people who read this issue of MAP who are not in the Midlands, I hope they'll be amazed by the fantastic collections of art that we have in the region, but also really inspired by the great inclusion and access initiatives our public museums and galleries are doing across the region. For those people who are in the Midlands, I hope that they see themselves represented and recognised by their public museums and galleries, but also that they're inspired to come and engage and experience these wonderful collections that we have.